hi guys welcome back to my channel it's your girl cc and we are back at it again today with another video and in today's video we are going to be reacting to the final sermon of prophet muhammad peace be upon him now let's get straight into the video shall we under the scorching sun on the plains of arafat prophet muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam delivered his final sermon O oh people Listen to my words carefully, for I know not whether after this year I shall ever meet you again at this place. O oh people, your lives and your property are sacrosanct until you meet your Lord, as are this holy place, this holy day, and this holy month. Remember that you will indeed meet your Lord and answer for your deeds, so beware. Whoever of you is holding a trust, let him return it to its rightful owner. All usury is abolished. Your capital, however, is yours to keep. Wrong not, and you shall not be wronged. All bloodshed from the pagan age of ignorance is to be left unavenged. O oh people, the devil has lost all hope of ever being worshipped in this land of yours. Nevertheless, he will try to mislead you in smaller matters. Beware of him, therefore, for the safety of your religion. Time has turned, and it is as it was the day that God created the heavens and the earth. The number of months is twelve. Four of them are holy, in which war and fighting are forbidden. O oh man, you have your rights over your wives, and they have rights over you. It is your right that they do not fraternize with anyone of whom you do not approve. But if they do, Allah has permitted you to isolate them within their homes and chastise them without cruelty. But if they abide by your rights, then they have the right to be fed and clothed in kindness. Do treat your women well and be kind to them, for they are your partners and committed helpers. You have taken them only as a trust from Allah, and you have their enjoyment only by His permission. So listen to me in earnest, O people, and reason well. I leave behind me two things, the Quran and my example. If you follow them, you will not go astray. O people, listen to my words. Know that every Muslim is a brother to every Muslim and that all Muslims constitute one brotherhood. It is only lawful to take from a brother what he gives you willingly, so wrong not yourselves. The Prophet ﷺ then faced the heavens and said, Be my witness, O Allah, that I have conveyed your message to your people. It was then that some of the final words of the Quran were revealed. اليوم أكملت لكم دينكم وأتممت عليكم نعمتي ورضيت لكم الإسلام دينا. This day I have perfected your religion for you, and have completed my favor upon you, and have chosen for you as religion. Al Islam. Wow. There's a lot of great message left behind by Prophet Muhammad. You know, he speaks about, you know, us remembering the day that we will meet our Lord. And I feel like that is honestly a great reminder for everyone. Like, I feel like that is something that we all need to hear on a daily basis. You know, remember the day that you are going to meet your Lord. And you are going to answer for your deeds. You know, remember. Remember. And I feel like if this was something that we all listen to daily, it's going to make the world a better place. It's going to make us better people. Because it's like, you know, when we are going throughout the day, we are reminding ourselves, oh, God is there. God is watching, you know. So it's somewhat of a reminder that, you know, do good, 
god is there god is watching you're going to answer for your deeds you know and also talking about how um you know um men should be good to their wives and all that very very important message um of course vice versa partners are supposed to work together you know you know he said you have rights over your wives and your wives also have rights over you in that case all you have to do is work together you know work side by side with your partners very very great message oh another thing that was mentioned that i had no idea about was that you know of course we have 12 months however it is he said within those 12 months there are four months which um war and fighting is forbidden now i would love to know what these four months are i'm assuming ramadan is one of them um maybe this month is another one of them you know when the second eid is happening um i don't know what that month is called in arabic i have no idea or in the arabic calendar i have no idea what that month is called but perhaps those are the two months so ramadan and the second eid i forgot the name oh my gosh i forgot the name but yeah the second eid but i don't know what the other two could be or what the other three could be i'm just assuming so yeah that was something that i thought oh very interesting so four months whereby war and fighting is forbidden i wonder how many people know this i really wonder how many people know this <laughs> and you know he also mentioned that you know it is right for you to take what your brother has willingly given to you so i'm assuming in that case if a brother has not willingly given you something do not take i think this is something that is um pretty simple pretty clear pretty straightforward and this is something that we all should abide by you know if somebody don't force anybody to give you anything you know i feel like that is like a general rule of life and also he mentioned about satan and you know for us to be wary of him that he is going to try and mislead us in any way possible even in the smallest of matters so we have to certainly be aware and we have to be wary that satan lives amongst us <laughs> he is trying us each and every single day to mislead us so we have to stay awake yeah Thank you all so much for tuning in today. I hope this was a great reminder for every single person watching. And this was a great message. And I hope that everybody reflects on this. So yeah, thank you so much for tuning in today. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Please do not forget to like, comment, share. And please do not forget to subscribe and take good care of yourselves. Bye guys.